I love the feeling of sinking a really long putt. That's like the best feeling in the world. I think pressure does help me play. It helps me zone in a little more. Anna started playing golf when she was eight years old, and um, she's been, you know, playing for almost 10 years now. I tried a lot of different sports, but golf was the one that really stuck because, you know, I can play it throughout my entire life. Living here in Peachtree City, uh, when she was young, they had a pretty big junior league. We got her into that pretty early. She had a really good swing from the beginning, so she could hit the ball pretty far, and uh, she liked it, so we stuck with it. And she and her dad love to play together. It's always like a friendly competition when we play. Sometimes when you play a sport for so long, you get kind of burned out, and during COVID, there was no um, golf lessons or group activity, so um, she took up rowing. Being out in nature in the open water is kind of like golf. You're out with nature. And she enjoyed rowing. We enjoy going to regattas with her. But she still, after about a year of rowing, she went back to her first love, which is golf. After COVID and everything, I started playing for my high school team and it was like a good outlet for me to like get all my emotions out on like the golf course, on like the driving range, you know? And it was a good way for me to keep getting myself outside after being used to like staying inside all the time and like not talking to anyone. So I feel like golf was a way for me to um, get social again. She came in as, you know, a, a shy, you know, ninth grader uh, to now she's been a leader on our team for the past two years. Golf is a really good sport for her because uh, she, she doesn't get bothered by much and uh, golf is hard. So it's, it's good to have a, a good patience and uh, a short memory when it comes to bad shots. Golf is very humbling, you know, you have to, uh, you're gonna ride some highs, you're gonna have to get through some lows, and I think she does a really good job of that. Like when I hit a bad shot, I'll get in my head about it for a little, and I mean, it's really a mental sport, like I have to like zone back in and I have to be able to bounce back from that, so that takes a lot of practice. I think pressure does help me play, it helps me zone in a little more. Um, like when nothing's on the line, I feel like I'm just kind of out there, but like when something is on the line, I feel like the pressure is really good for me. My dad and I go out and practice a lot. I remember over the summer we would go at seven in the morning and we would practice for three to four hours every single day, just practicing short game and on the driving range. Her course management uh, has improved uh, dramatically. She's got a good short game. I think she hits the ball, uh, gets off the tee pretty good too. I love the feeling of sinking a really long putt. That's like the best feeling in the world, especially if it's for par, but like even if it's for bogey, like, 
like you saved it, you know? It's like saving a hole. I love that it's an individual and a team sport. I mean, I think my goal along with my coach and the rest of my team is to win state again. I mean, we won it in 2024 and I think that with enough dedication, we can do it again. It was a lot of pressure for all of us and I think that we all felt that pressure. And I think that all of us being able to just zone in for a round or two was really hard for us, but we pulled through. It was a hard competition, it was close, but we did it. Working hard and wanting to do good in golf is really parallel with like wanting to do good in life. So she has been playing cello for almost six years now, and we love going to her orchestra concerts. I'm pretty involved in a lot of clubs at school, and um, I think that's also like a big part of my life, just like being in clubs and being able to like get involved in my community. I would say I'm a pretty good student. Um, I take a couple APs. My parents have always pushed like academics over everything. I want to major in international business and I also speak Mandarin, so I'd love to um, put or integrate that into like my college experience. So I'm planning on minoring in Mandarin if I can do that. She just, she's very well-rounded.